last night it was kind of a crazy day yesterday so I did not around. get to go through just a minute sweetie so I did not get to go through all of the videos and all of your comments and welcome all the new subscribers and whatnot so I am working on that today um, I did get most of it done yesterday but not all of it so I will get to shout out as soon as possible and get that information to Kevin so that we can get our Wednesday shout outs up as early as possible on Thursday. All right, gang, so I'm off to Home Depot this morning. I need to get a sanding disc for my grinder because I need to get that stuff off the floor fast. Fast and dirty, so that's what I'm gonna be looking for. I have a um, $100 gift certificate that my brother gave me, so I'll use that. Figured I'd also pick up some Hardy Backer since I'm there. I can start on the backsplash. And uh, getting closer and closer to finishing the kitchen. So, that's my morning so far. And possibly pick up some bugs for the lizards because uh, I'm sure they're hungry. How long have I been working on my shout outs? About two days now. <laughs> what keeps happening? Keep falling asleep. <laughs> well, I wasn't falling asleep last night. I was working on them, but I had to keep helping Pa. Yeah. And then I kept falling asleep. <laughs> but I'm almost done now. I'm yep. almost ready to record. Don't fall asleep. No. If I do, wake me up at 5.30, okay? <laughs> I asked Corey to wake me up at 5.30 yesterday. He woke me up at 5.30. I said, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. He walked away and I went back to sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. All right, so everybody's going to get fed today. Uh, the uh, bearded dragons are already excited. So uh, I'll have to get started here. I just have to dust them up, make sure that they're all divvied out and ready to go. These guys are hungry too, but uh, everybody's gonna get fed today. All right, so these guys are all happy. What are you chewing on there? It's not, it's not a bug. All right, so we've got a lips going at it. He actually got one on the first try, so he's gone good. And of course, uh, she doesn't come out until I'm, uh, I'm gone. All right, so. This one's for your, for your legs. This one's for your no, legs. No, you can hit the elbow. You can hit the elbow, too. Hey, you can do the elbow. You, you doctoring Pop-Pop? <laughs> Pop-Pop needs a needle. Okay. You going to give him a needle? Uh, this uh, one? Yep. I gotta keep your needle. I gotta keep. Uh, Feel better? Yeah. Yeah. I think he needs to have his heart listened to. Oh. Okay. This one? Yep, that one. Oh. You gotta get closer. What does it say? Sounds like a like that. That's Mama's phone. It's okay. What is what does Pop Up's heart sound like? Does it go boom 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 boom? Or does it go boom 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 boom? I'm gonna gonna check your heart. You're gonna check my heart? Yeah. My heart's way down there. Yeah. Yeah? I thought my heart was up here. My heart's way down there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so what I got at the store today was this sanding disc. 
that goes on my angle grinder. And I need to take off glue off the floor. It's this white glue. You see the, the white lines here. And for some reason, it does not want to come off. I don't know what it's made of. It feels like uh, concrete, but it's white. I've never seen it like that. So, But I've got to grind it off. And I tried it with the belt sander, and it, it works, but it it's um, kind of a pain. So I figured if I can go at it at an angle with this, this is actually just a bunch of sandpaper. Um, I might be able to get a better attack on it. And uh, gotta put my mask on because I'm gonna make a ton of dust and uh, I'm gonna attack the floor. Okay, so we just almost had another emergency. I've been taking my father's blood pressure and it was 77 over 48. And if it gets that low, I'm supposed to take him back to the emergency room. He's not been drinking enough water. He had iced tea. Caffeine dehydrates you. I can't get him to understand this. So three times in a row, it was 77 over 48, 71 over 47, 78 over 47. I made him drink some water, took his iced tea away from him, and now it's 95 over 51. So now we're out of having to go to the emergency room, but he's fighting with me about drinking water. He's bloated, he's bloated, so he can't drink it that fast. I don't care. And go come right back out of me. <laughs> But, Pa, do you want to go back to the hospital? All right, I'll drink it, but I can't gulp it down. Okay, but when your, your blood pressure went that low, you needed to drink it quickly to get your blood pressure back up. Now you can start sipping it. Okay. But you need to at least get two more of those down fairly quick. Don't look at me like that. Your blood pressure was crashing again. I'm only supposed to drink about four bottles. A day. Yeah. Okay, I understand that. But your blood pressure was crashing again. So you don't have the IVs pumping fluid into you. So if you could get more than four in right now, today, you need to do that. How many? More than four today. Wow. I didn't say a specific amount. Okay. But you will do more than four today. And no more iced tea. Drink your Gatorade. Okay? I love you. Yeah. I love you too, Valerie. What? I love you too, Valerie. Ditto. Okay, I'll settle for ditto. <laughs> okay, so I just had my second interview, and I really can't tell you whether it went well or not. I thought it went well enough. Uh, at least they weren't asking stupid questions. Most interviewers ask stupid questions. I think it's mainly because they don't know how to interview. Uh, you know, the, the crazy ones like, uh, what is your, your worst attribute? You know, like somebody's going to really tell you. All that really t uh, teaches you or about the person is how well they can answer stupid questions. So they just wanted to know what my background is, and that's good. It, I felt okay. I don't know if I'm going to get the job, but... Uh, Uh, we'll see. Hey guys, so it looks like we're getting another thunder and lightning storm and Peanut here, oh he's shaking so bad, is afraid of thundering and lightning storms. He doesn't like the thunder. So I'm laying here on the floor with him, holding him and rubbing his chin and stuff. He's such a big baby. Oh Peanut. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see him shaking. Right now he's got his ear over my eye. <laughs> Alright, so the floor is pretty smooth. I'm sure I've missed a few spots here and there. But I will deal with that on a one tile at a time basis. I still have the crown on the floor here, so I have to deal with that. Probably goes all the way to the wall. But, um... That's it for today, so um, we'll see you all tomorrow.
don't know what you're Hey about. everybody! We're going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. If you did, please give this video a great big thumbs up. <laughs> if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below. Reet, where's the red subscribe button? Down below. Not with your thumb. Down below. There you go. <laughs> Share this video with your family and friends because we got a lot more exciting stuff coming up for you guys to watch. And if we hit 4,000 subscribers, Kevin and I are going to do a live Q&A just for you guys. So, stay tuned. Bye.